Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn what is the difference between local and global variables. We're going to explore the difference of local and global variables by using an actual C program. So let's jump into the code and see what is the difference between local and global variables. So here we have our basic C programming structure. So when we create an integer, let's say int a, that is equal to 10. We have an integer with the name a that has a value of 10. Now the definition of a local variable is a variable that is defined inside a function and that variable is only visible to that given function. So int a is a variable inside the main function and it's only visible inside the main function. Thus it is a local variable. So let's assume we have a function void display. We've got a function void display. And inside this function, I'm going to create another variable called int a that's equal to 5. Okay, and there we have it. We've got a void display function and we've got a int main function. In both of them is a variable called a. Now, will this give us a compilation error or not? Because we can't have variables with the same names. But let's go back to the definition of a local variable. A local variable is a variable that's defined inside a function that is only visible to that function. So if we create another variable called a, this variable is only visible to this function void display and it's not visible to in pain and thus not the same so if we call this function void display we say display and we print out the value of a the question is what will be printed out to the screen. So I'm printing out the value of a to the screen with just the new lines just to separate everything. So when we display the value of a here, if we understand the definition, a will be equal to 10 because only a is visible to 10. After this statement, we ask this statement. We call this function and we create another variable called int a is equal to 5. Will it influence this or not? So let's quickly go and check if the definition is actually accurate or not. So we build and run, check for errors and let's see. So our output is a is equal to 10. So no. A still stays the same because when we call this function A is only visible in this function and we haven't done anything to this function so if we have a printf statement here and we say new line new line A is equal to percentage D new line new line and we print out A and we run the same program we will see A is equal to 5 okay so first of all we declare this variable then we call the display function we create a variable and we display it and that variable is 5 then we go to this display this printf and we display the same variable with the same name. And that's A. And that's equal to 10. So now we can confirm 
that this variable a and this variable a has in fact the same name but they are in completely different functions and also not visible to the other function so a variable that's created inside a main function or inside our own function is a local variable and it's only local to the function wherein it resides okay so that's the rule for local variables now we need to understand what is a global variable a global variable is a variable that is defined outside of the main and our own functions so it's defined outside functions so int b is equal to 2 now int b is now a global variable and the definition of a global variable is a global variable is visible by all functions so in fact we can maybe minimize this and this then display b and we can say b is equal to b and we can do the same here let's make a double new line and let's go and display b here so b is equal to what let's quickly zoom out b is equal to 2 and then inside our display function we go and display b b is equal to we assume 2 and then we print out as well b in our main function and we say b is equal to what but let's see let's build and run and see what happens okay so this is our new build now we can see that a is equal to 5 that's now the first display here a is equal to 5 then b is equal to 2 then we've got our second display of a a is equal to 10 that's the main function a and then b is equal to 2 and now we can see that a global variable is visible from all the functions okay so let's quickly add a printf statement here printf statement just to make it nice and neat and we say display function okay and this is going to be a printf main function just so that we can see where everything is we're going to see a and we're going to see b great so main function a and b display function a and b so let's quickly build and run this let's just check that everything is nice and neat okay this is now the new display function a is 5 and 2 main function is 10 and 2 we agree now the when we have a global variable and we change this variable with something and we say b is equal to b plus 3 okay we are changing the global variable and that will have an impact impact when we display it here so first of all we call the display function we display a that is 5 then we display b that is 2 and then we say b is equal to b plus 3 that will in fact make the value of b to 5 and then display 5 here so here we will assume that it will display 10 for this 10 here and then the new value of b so a global variable if we run this program and we will see 5 and 2 and then 10 and 5 is for the updated b so with a global variable it's visible from all functions and you can also change the value of the global variable from all functions and that ladies and gentlemen is the difference 
between local and global variables. So let's quickly just confirm the definition. A local variable is only visible in that given function it's created in. So it's not visible by other functions. It's only visible by the function it resides in. And a global variable is visible to all functions. That's a big difference. Make a note of it. We normally tend not to create a lot of global variables. We like to create local variables because after that function, we destroy that local variables and we keep the memory to the minimum. So, you can use local and global variables to your advantage in different scenarios. I hope that explains a lot. Thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen and I hope to see you soon.